You know what I sacrificed? Is use of the F word. I can't say that anymore in my house. Because, because of Drees. Because of Drees, he fully knows what F-U-C-K means and uses it from time to time when he thinks it's funny. Hello everyone, welcome to Fam For All Moms. My name is Sharzad, and this is Susan, and our special guest today. John, for Preppy Kitchen. Preppy Kitchen, oh my God, the most happiest Instagram of all places. And, and you're a new, a new dad yes. of two. two, and we're gonna talk bouncing about Bouncing little giant babies. Oh, I, yeah, I'm obsessed with them. I love seeing them on your Instagram. Today we're gonna talk about... Yeah, you guys, today we're talking about the things you sacrifice when you become a new parent. Hint, it's everything. <laughs> First of all, congrats. You have Thank twins you. and yes. they're eight-ish months old. Mm -hmm. Preface this by saying I am like the luckiest dad Aww. because apart from everything else, they sleep through the night. They sleep through the, what? Yes. It's when like did this start rare, happening? They always slept through the night. Okay, oh, so, wow. so, okay, so, so you're rare, you didn't rare, rare. sacrifice because <laughs> number one sacrifice <laughs> is sleep, Yeah. right? right. Except for John. Wow. Okay. However, like at the very beginning, like when they're eating every two, two and a half, the three hours. The cluster feeding? Mm -hmm. Yes. And feeding twins takes longer. Yes, because so there's two it's of like them. So it's like never ending <laughs> conveyor belt of eating, burping, digesting, playtime. How do they sleep through the night? Yeah. What's your, what's your magic? What do you just have good karma stacked up for you? Or I don't like, know. Like yeah. occasionally one will wake up. Like you haven't gone night. through the regressions or anything? Did you train them? We did train them. Like okay. from the beginning, you have to be on an ironclad schedule okay. with like no matter how painful, you have to stay on it. Okay, so, so for he us, did sacrifice yeah. sleep. <laughs> yeah, we sacrificed he sleep. <laughs> he did not. So but okay. but that's usually one of the most common ones, right? For sure. Right. For sure. I mean, we've all heard that like moms are tired and they, they don't sleep and dads are tired. And of course that's true, I guess right. maybe. For some, we're finding a <laughs> unicorn here, though, and I see no dark circles under okay. your eyes, and you have very pretty skin. <laughs> However, <laughs> like, we did have the night, the night terror mode. That, like, okay. you know, that, the yeah. witching hour. Yeah. yeah, that's real. Oh. Yeah. So that's yeah. like hour that is can very last. Real. So yeah, we went on a big trip with the kids. Oh, I was gonna ask if you traveled and if that messed up there. We traveled to Connecticut, so cross country yeah. once. When we came back, it was like a magical reset. Yeah. And it stopped. Oh, oh that's interesting. interesting. So traveling fixed the problem. Oh, <laughs> Whereas good. for me, I would say traveling is number two is the sacrifice. Yeah. You don't travel as much. Right. And if you do, it kind of just ruins everything usually. Like I feel like it's one of those things where like every yeah. single time we travel, the night schedule gets completely messed up. And you're for sweating us. bullets, by the yeah. way, the whole time you're like, what is gonna happen? Especially like if it's a, if there's a plane involved. Yeah. Traveling with my first we took him everywhere. We were on a plane. We were like, we're not gonna slow down. We wanna keep going. We wanna keep traveling. Nothing's gonna hold us back. Not mm -hmm. even a kid, you know? We took him to Europe and Mexico and literally on a plane once a month for like the first year and a half and then it tapered down a little bit. With my second, I'm like, nope, I'm good. Not messing with that sleep schedule. He's right. finally sleeping through the night and it was not easy to get there. Um, and now that it's happened, I'm like, I don't wanna do anything except sleep when he sleeps at night. All I wanted to do is I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> Something that I didn't anticipate was like how unsocial I became. So social life. My social right. life still is like something I really, really have to work for because I know that if I go out with girlfriends or something or even on a date with Michael and I stay out past like 10, I'm gonna pay the price the next day. It's true. Mm -hmm. And it's like so hard because so much of me really wants to be so social naturally. I've always been social. I love going out. I've never thought of myself as a homebody, and that's been a hard adjustment. No, He's I'm, like, I haven't even tried. I've yet. literally like taken the giant stone and closed the crypt. <laughs> so yeah. at night yeah. there's no escaping. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so like, social life definitely total gone. lockdown. We have people visit occasionally. Yeah. For me, and I'm the social one. It's like 7.30, I'm like, <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, you do like, have so twins, you guys, a lot. It was great to have yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, I was like, subtle signs. Yeah. Like, oh, is that the door? So we do dinner at four, yeah. <laughs> we do have dinner at four. <laughs> I know, I actually, see, but it's different now, though. Now I've, like, let go of that because it's my second, and I'm, like, I, you know, sleep to me is, like, the most enticing thing. I do miss my social life every now and then, but I know it's gonna come back hopefully later when they're on a different schedule yeah. or a different phase. Yeah, I mean, well, adding to the social life, not even just the going out, I, I feel like a lot of my friends are having babies mm -hmm. right now, and we just have all stopped seeing each other. One right. of my girlfriends texted me and she was like, 
our babies haven't met yet. And they're oh. almost a year. Yeah. Oh. And it's because we kind of had babies around the same time. Yeah. And then we just stopped seeing each other. What I've sacrificed is like all of the the extra me time perks. Yeah. Right. So like there's no more like morning workout class. Yeah. Right. Which I miss sometimes, although like I've tried to like exercise in the morning on my own and I'm like, just, it's not happening. I, <laughs> I need a class too to work out. Right. Yeah. It like also, mm -hmm. so like that's gone. Luckily, we can get our haircuts at our house. <laughs> so right. Stuff like okay. That. So everything is coming to you. Everything the guests is coming and the, to you. Yeah, yeah. The work. Yeah. And okay. like all the going out, like that's social life. It's gone. Yeah. Social it's life really... is gone. You're like, oh, I can kind of like make this happen, this happen, and keep my old schedule yeah. and be the same person. Like at a certain point, I think most people realize, oh no, your old life is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and bury it and have a service. <laughs> Go ahead and bury yeah. it. And be at peace with it because you have a new life now and like yes. the kids are at the center and like, you know, there's no like just binge watching your favorite show over the weekend. Like, oh, the crown's out. Yeah. Watch the whole, yeah, the whole, yeah. Netflix the whole 10 episodes. Mm -hmm. No, that's all gone. Yeah. yeah. Can we talk about the screen time? Screen time is hard. Because yeah. we have two kids. One of them has like these glowing eyes that just gravitate towards any light source, especially yep. a screen. And I'm like, yeah. George, you can't be addicted to a screen. Yeah. However, your dad yeah. is like totally, like, I don't know how Always. to like, where, how do you cut it off and like just put the phone away? Because I've been I'm making worried, a like conscious making kids effort. Yeah. So that's probably one of my big sacrifices. Yeah. Is, right. And that affects my work. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where I have to tell myself not to look at my phone so much and actually be in the moment with the kids. Right. Kid. Yeah. With the kid. Yeah. My husband sacrifices stuff all the time too, I feel like. We had tickets to do different trips that we ended up canceling or just, you know, things that like life happens, but a lot of stuff gets like canceled or there's like yep. disappointment Canceling or sacrifice or whatever. Definitely. You I know, definitely become the person that's like, sorry, I can't make it or after right, all. Like you find yourself maybe being flaky if you weren't before, or maybe you run late and you're like a really punctual person right. or, you know, all these things and you're like, whoa, that's not who I am. But it's just being like punctual, a phase. I feel like that's something you sacrifice too. It's yeah. like, no matter how hard you try, there are things that come up with your kids. I have one more sacrifice. It's, it's along the lines of sleep. You don't get to sleep in anymore. Oh, ever. Oh, yeah. Ever. Yeah. It's ever. so sad. It really it is. is. So, like sleeping in is like seven o'clock for me. Seven, oh, yeah. same. same. Do you guys um, like switch off with your hubby? It's like, okay, I'm sleeping in this day, so no. next week you'll do that? No. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, sometimes. Oh. Yeah, for sure. That's nice. For There's sure. a lot of karma from yeah. being nice to airplane people exactly. that's yeah. coming back to you. <laughs> well, I mean, no, well, no, it's more like, Hey, I'm sleeping <laughs> tomorrow, okay? You get up early. It's more like that kind of a conversation in my house, but we still like switch off. So one of us isn't like always the insane one. Yeah. Do you feel like you and your husband kind of sacrificed your relationship a little bit? Like how do you guys manage date nights or what do you guys do? <laughs> date <laughs> He's nights like, in? Date, laughs, date nights in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I feel like your relationship is changes too because it's not just the two of you now. Right. Now it's like in our case, the four of four us. Four of you. So mm -hmm. it's like, you're kind of in a different relationship, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, right. yes. It's so like, yes, yeah. you keep, you know, the magic alive and you make time for each other, or like for being present with each other. Right. But in general, it's part of like, it's like, you know, the old day, the old, old life is gone. Right. Yeah. For us, like going on a weekend walk together. Mm -hmm. Aww. That's like our us time. Yeah. Right. So that there's is... like no distractions. Yeah. That's nice. Relationship does, sac you, do you what? sacrifice it though? I mean, you're, you're just in it for like a year now. So what do you feel like you and Arun have sacrificed? I mean, sex. Yeah. One, right? <laughs> like that definitely doesn't happen yeah. as often. Yeah. Um, I feel like date night is almost non-existent. Yeah. First year, first time parent, it's such a blur. Right. You know, you're like getting a handle on you life. And it feels like everything. you're in hyperspeed in a way that is a cliche, but yeah. is so very real. Like it literally feels like last week that they were born. And, and then it takes a while to figure out who you are, what kind of a parent you want to be, what kind of a wife you want to be or partner you want to be. And it just takes a while. And everybody says like, I feel like there's also, you know, of course, pressure from outsiders and social media to like keep the romance alive and do date nights and do this and do that when sometimes you really just are exhausted and you yeah. want to relax. And the thought of having sex just seems like it's a thousand miles away because whatever reason you just had a baby and your body doesn't feel right or you're just exhausted or you're hurting or whatever, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think it's fun to like vent and like commiserate together, but I, I genuinely think for I me, do too. it was like, I one of the greatest, the greatest thing that could ever happen to yeah, me. Yeah, for like sure. My kiddos, Hardest, best it. thing I've ever done. That's right. what I tell people. Yeah. Hardest, well, best thing. Well, it feels thing. like 
kind of like you're a complete person. Yeah. yeah. Which is like horrible to say, but like, oh yes, not everyone has kids. Right. However, the person you are now is like so much richer and yep. I can't imagine another way. Like, yeah. I Agreed. Can't. I love it. I agree. I love it. Love it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we'll include you too, Charzad. Um, Thank you so much oh. for being here. I got You're out of the house. A blast. <laughs> you did get out. Good guys. Like half a date night. Yeah. Another another high five on this end. Okay. Easy. We have a private Facebook group. We would love to add you in. Yeah. Um, it's great. It, there's so many moms and dads are in there, mm -hmm. and soon to be parents mm -hmm. that are asking for advice and tips. And there's just a really good conversation. Right. Yep. This is open to you guys. It's too. judgment just, free. Right. Judgment that is, that is 100%. That is our biggest, biggest thing with yeah. all yeah. our content and everything that we do is that it's a happy judgment-free zone. Yeah. So you guys will put a link to the Facebook group down below. You'll be able to talk to any of us and any of the other parents that are in that group. You guys have to check them out on YouTube, Instagram, all the places. We'll put links in the description yes. below. <laughs> Stock the crap out of them. You're Lots gonna of just, beautiful you're gonna love baked it. and oh, cooked things. That's Instagram amazing. is my happy place. Let us know if you guys have any big sacrifices. Maybe we missed something, or you guys can keep that combo going. It's a pretty complete list, but there has to be something pretty, else. We've yeah, we covered everything, but if we missed something, let us know. Or if you guys can relate, you know, let us know in the comments too. Uh, thumbs up, and that's all, right? We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.